Hello there, kids, and it's I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Final Fantasy XV. Alright, when we left off, we had finally made it to uh, where we were supposed to be going. Uh, it took me a while to figure out um, <laughs> how to navigate Altitia, but we managed to get to the main mission quest where we were supposed to go. And uh, notice that news stories pop up on the radio about our antics and whatnot and there was one that i had missed before i ended the recording it's your vacation why settle for it's not this we are exonerous for generations we have supported the livelihood of the people of lestalem not this it's your vacation That's a... we are exonerous okay so i guess it's not wanting to show me anymore <laughs> oh well anywho now, so, care to take a cruise? So someone mm -hmm. caught the secretary of Mago again. She and the barkeep sure are friendly. There's yeah. Something going on. She wouldn't spend so much time at that place if there wasn't. Oh, you people are. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's always fun. People assuming things. All right, a second sea god was a uh, mission that we picked up as well. Whoa, that is all the way over there. Yeesh. Yeah, I would not... <laughs> I would not be able to start that right now. Also, it sounds like people are deciding to race down the fucking highway again. <sighs> always, always with these people. Always. Alright, and everything is pretty much back at... Uh, everything is pretty much back at... Insomnia, it's all the way back there. <laughs> it's all the way back at the original map. That's all my brain knows. So, um... Huh. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. I'm sure it has. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> the second sea god will take a while to get to, so I might as well do the summit. Which... Means I gotta go to that one there? That particular place? Huh. So there are some gondolas that have different paths. From the look of it. Because there's the yellow one which is all around the main city here. There's that blue one that goes off into wherever the hell. And then there's this purple one here. Hmm. Well, anyway, we'll uh, figure that out later. Uh, this one. Then I can wrap around the city and eventually go to the summit where I'm supposed to be at. And since we've already seen this, I'm not going to pad for time. What am I, a douche tuber? Fantastic. Absolutely not. Call when you need a ride back. Thank you. All right. Now. Didn't need that. If anything, I can just lead myself. <sighs> Not yeah, this way. It's hot. Then lose the jacket. How about fuck off? Style. Gladio. Style. All right. How the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Well, since I learned my lesson that there's no running in Altitia, uh, I will find a way to eventually get up there. Eventually. Okay, maybe not this way. Maybe if I go this way. Yep. Oh, and there's a staircase. Perfect. Beautiful. That is exactly what I needed. Up we go. And here we are. Now I can go across to go over there. Maybe? Yeah. Further this way. Hmm. It's nice to not have to kill anything. Yeah, it is. Prompto. Yeah, it is. It is exceedingly nice to not have to kill anything. 
then you get to take in the uh, glorious sights of fake Italy. <laughs> That's always nice. I have no idea what they were talking about. Okay. This took a lot less time than I thought it would. Especially considering how lost I got originally in the last episode. Once the negotiation begins, you will be unable to return to the city. You're kidding me, right? I only just got here. Uh, I know nothing. This is a free, crazy new ride for me. Ah. Crap. Let's wait on it. Let's wait on it for now. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. There's no other quests I have in this city. Let's do it. I'm sure I'll come back eventually. Just... Not immediately. This music is tense. And that's hard to do with a piano. Thank you for coming. The negotiators... Negotiators? I can't fucking talk at all. God damn. <laughs> the fuck was that? The negotiation is about to begin with First Secretary Tlostra. Engage her in a manner befitting a king and strive to win her trust and cooperation. No first things first. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcombe didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the king and the oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the king concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk. One we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. All Why right. does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? Answer vaguely. She just wants to talk with Leviathan. She would wake a slumbering goddess just to have a chat? Somehow I doubt the Tide Mother will take kindly to being roused on a mortal whim. That's what you're assuming. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. Yeah. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archean. Yeah. Me, yeah, I do. Happened. Be cheeky. <laughs> I'm a be cheeky. The big guy woke up and went on a trip. Really? A mild way to put it. Yeah. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. Uh, let's go with this. I don't suppose you'd cry over the Empire's losses? An intriguing suggestion. Let's cut to the chase. Seems to me you want a proxy to fight the Empire. Very sharp, Your Majesty. But before we go into that, there is one matter I'd like to settle. Okay. Without further ado, let us talk terms. Ah, uh, of course. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. That's fair. Um... Suggest further measures. That's fine, but what about damage to the city? Your concern is appreciated, but I am prepared to accept some structural damage. Okay. Keeping the citizens safe is my chief concern, and therefore yours. That is and fair. That, is, that is more than fair. Once the right has begun, 
I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. That's fair. Act confident. Not a problem. Even though I'm not. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. But as I'm sure you are aware, few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. Yeah. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? Casually would be a little flippant. Let's uh, agree amicably. All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. That is a rather veiled threat. All right. You do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. What do you mean, like my father? Sometimes I can't tell whether you're sharp or dull. Madam, it's a bit of both. <laughs> Assign three both. of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. All According right. to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steal yourselves for a full-scale battle. I that have confidence fair. you will do well by us, and you can expect the same in return. <laughs> Noctis made a positive impression. Hey! I did good. Ooh, three. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey! hey. We did it. We did it. I wonder if there's going to be more mini games like that. That was actually kind of fun. <laughs> I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. Well, hi there, Westcom. I say, I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. That, uh... Hmm. I'm not sure how to uh, how to think about that particular statement. They've been During seeing the, the Empire going seated, crazy. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. Mm. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. Yeah. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the Goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. That is stay true. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, will do. Go after the harpoons. But, uh... Don't overextend myself doing so. That's what it sounds like. Alrighty. Fucking <laughs> Jesus. That's a <laughs> If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. 
Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please, but you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Why? The music is also giving me like a public is waiting for you. particular feeling like there is a conniving sort of undertone here. Oh, that's why. She's a badass, okay. Not a not a lot of people would be able to stare down that many guns. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. There's not a lot of them. Hmm. That is impressive. I, I just <laughs> mm. Okay. There's not a lot of Opinions I can put in, but that was awesome. Yep, absolutely. Don't forget the plan. You guys too. Of course. All right. Look for a flock of birds. Yeah, this is come to watch. Yeah, and who can really blame them? Look for a flock of birds. I wasn't even able to make just like the slightest movement to get closer. Dear friends, please save us. I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly but surely, the light fades from our world. And as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror, hatred, and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis. A dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction. Claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. That was an awkward cut. <laughs> Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith, for our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here, in Altisha, to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. Bless you all. Impressive speech. Probably the first time he's seen her in a while, so no wonder he's a little emotional. It's probably a little more bittersweet that he can only do so at a distance for now. 
I almost thought that was my phone. <laughs> They've been here. Honestly. In on the board. Look for a vantage point to approach them. Okay. Okay. To the citizens. We got them covered. So it begins. Yeah, it does. Saving checkpoint. Rites by which the oracle rouses the slumbering gods and entreats their aid. That's rather nice. I had a feeling that was the case, and that I was her singing. It is I, Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. That was not a response I expected to hear. Especially not sound like that. Oh, shit. Like it. Time to lend the hydrant a hand. Yep. Oh, hello. Okay. Well then. Into the fray. Ow. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ow. Fuck off. This is too cramped a space to be pulling this shit. There we go. Beautiful. And away I go. Well, now I can run in Altitia. Oh boy. What the fuck is that? Is that water? Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, we really got no choice otherwise. That is weird water. What the hell? Okay. Ah. Uh. Whoop! Haha! <laughs> there we go. Ow, ow, fuck off. Fuck off, guys. Fuck off, ow. There we go. Ow. Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted. Fuck off. There we go. Beautiful. Ish. Getting an awkward cut, but... Oh, she is not happy. What does a lowly ephemeral speck know of all creation? Was that necessary? I know what you must know. That the King of Kings is to drive the darkness from the That was unnecessary. <laughs> Ow. Blast from it in grace. All men, quick to forget the ages their goddess stood watch. It is in receiving mercy that men offer praise, and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. Yet this profane speck speaks her king heresies before a goddess. Insufferable second. Worthy. 
If not, then the feeding shall begin, and it shall not end until every last speck is devoured. <laughs> now I'm going to a little concerned about this awakening. So let the covenant be forged. Heaven and earth, high and deep, birth and return. Oh my, that's a lot of water. Awesome! What about oh. you guys? We'll wait below. There's only room for two. Not jump! What? Jump Don't where? Okay. Man. Man! That's just... Uh, no. Oh! That's why there's only room for two. What's this? Ha! New ride we borrowed from the Niths! This is getting close! Serious? Here she comes! I got Alright. Oh! That's cool. That's cool. This is a hell of a... This is a hell of a sequence. Holy shit. Well, I mean... There we go. And... There we go. And it... Wasn't planning on it. Whoa! Not the best of ideas. Hey, we made it. Hey, Leviathan. It's me, the king. I can't understand you. I honestly can't understand you. But I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna be nice. I need your power. <laughs> okay. It looked like she just flung me. And that's what happened. That looked like it hurt. Ow. Defeat Leviathan. Maybe I should have demanded it. What the I can't go any further than this? Oh, okay. So the only way you'll help me is if I take you down? Well, some structural damage was inevitable. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's a little weird how it's phasing through me like that. Okay. That is a hell of a long jump. So I'm not allowed to uh, do this yet. Okay. Can I use a spell? Nope. Oh, okay. Okay. That was close. Can I do this? Oh, okay, maybe not. Ow. Yep, I'm working on it. There we go. Okay. Every building that it destroys just leaves me less to actually ride on. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Don't know what happened in the cut, but that was... Oh, Luna, you okay? Uh-oh. Does not sound like she's alright. Oh, fuck off. Second thought, you let him have it. <laughs> and do remind him about the crystal. <laughs> oh, Prince, your bride awaits. You son of a bitch. 
I will pass the ring to the rightful king. Defiant to the last. When the prophecy is fulfilled, all in thrall to darkness shall know peace. Even after getting stabbed, she is defiant to him, and that is fucking more badass than I could ever imagine. How oh, sweet. Would please, Lady Luna Freya. You first. Oh, I'm going to relish killing you. Is he seriously going blonde? Okay. Lightish aura. Fine. Well then. This might help a little. Okay. So. Okay. This is, uh... This is impressive. Oh, and he's using the trident as well. Ooh! That had to hurt. Ooh! This is, uh... A lot of damage I'm doing. Over several seconds. Oh! This is some TPS. Honestly, wish I had had this earlier. Okay, well, she's running under uh, the water now. Okay, so I'm, I'm essentially magic missiling her into submission. That's what I'm doing right now, but this is... Cool. Holy fuck. Whatever uh, Luna gave me here, it is uh, working out in my favor. And it is pretty fucking cool. Alright. This this fight is fucking intense. Although I'm a little uh, annoyed how I keep phasing into Leviathan here. That just seems a little lazy. And I just keep phasing in and out of existence here. This is impressive. There we go. There goes another one. There goes another one. Yeah, done yet? I'm hoping this fight eventually ends. Because I'm already way over time for this episode.
And that was good. Oh boy. Alright. This is a lot of button presses I was not expecting. Okay. Alright. Fucking Super Saiyan Noctis over here. Well, now that's clear. Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Yeah, I know my memes. Was something else. It's done. And he is probably exhausted as hell. Still holding on even after that. I mean, that's realistic, honestly. Whoa, what? I no longer have any idea what's going on. <laughs> like, I had an inkling before, now I have nothing. Noctis. Is this a flashback? Uh, Luna? So, you found your way here. And you found me. A chance to see you once more. Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But... That doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, looming from hill to vale. Will you be there? Yeah, the feeling was no. They are as adults. Would that I could join you. Well, her. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted to do was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. Farewell. Dear Noctis.
Back with us. I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. A oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. He went blind. And Luna? She has passed. Umbra left that for you. There's nothing really that can be said after all that. I am. I'm kind of at a loss for words here. Yep, and there it goes bopping on my computer. End of chapter. Well, at least Prompto made 57. Finally. <sighs> Nothing good enough there. Chapter 10. The Heart of a King. Across the water and onto the rails, the royal retinue makes for Gralia, the imperial capital. Their objective, reclaiming the crystal, that they might reclaim their homeland. However, the ring's weight proves too much for Noctis to bear. Noctis lost a lot in that fight. Okay. Once I uh, get a moment to 
control. I'm gonna end the episode. The Scourge of the Stars. Several weeks later. So, we're gonna roll through Tenebrae. Not before visiting the royal tomb at Cartanico. Oh, uh, you're sure you're up to that? The wounds have mended. Eyesight's a matter of time. The hell is wrong with you? What? We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. I'm here, aren't I? Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Let go of me. How's that ring fit you? You rather carry it around than wear it? <laughs> she gave her life so you could do your duty, not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think I know you that? You don't! Ignis took one for you, too. And for what? Enough! Gladio. You think you're a king, but you're a coward. Shut up! Don't do this! I... I get it, all right? I get it! Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. <sighs> this is not, not the time. Leave him. This is not the time. <laughs> Too many hard memories associated with that ring. I get it. Noctis is free to roam around the train until it pulls into the station. Walk around until the train arrives. Alright. And I can't even save it. Damn it. Okay. I hope at least one ancestor of yours had the sense to build his tomb somewhere safe. Yeah, here's hoping. I guess I'm just going to explore a little bit. You feel like an ass yet, Gladdy? That was absolutely unnecessary, and you know it. Oh, I'm not allowed in some of these. Okay, that's fair. Oh boy. Lover's spat. Oh joy. High elixir, okay. Well, don't need that. I would like to express our relief that King Noctis has survived. 
The towering waves that swept over Altisha left great destruction in their wake. It will take time to rebuild our lives. That said, the damage done to our fair capital would have been far more severe were it not for the aid of the King and the Oracle. First Secretary Klaustra also pledged the government would continue its search for Lady Luna Freya, whose current whereabouts remain unknown. Still no sign of Lady Luna Freya anywhere. It's not looking good. What I wouldn't give to see her again. Oh, and it finally stops me here. Cleaning in progress. Okay. Alright, so. Raelian Medal of Distinction. Charges an arm and a leg for this slot? That's imperial quality for you. Should have let a chef from a coil handle catering. Well, yeah. Alright, so. Since I can't run around, I gotta walk all the way back to the fucking spot where I can rest. You wanna head to the dining car? So you can feast your eyes on that other girl. Oh, for fuck's sake. Break. I'm just hungry is all. <laughs> Jeez, that's so unnecessary. Let's, uh, just head back. End the episode for now. How much longer till we get there? Yep. Rest until arrival. Cartanica Station. One step closer to finding the next tomb. Complete. I wasn't sure that there was much else there I could do. The Hand of the King. Gather information about the Royal Tomb. Well. I can do that. But I'm going to have to end the episode for right now, because we are way over time and a lot of shit happened. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. I don't really know how to summarize. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and uh, having quite the encounter with the Empire and Leviathan. That's really all I can say about it. For you.